You're telling me you don't know what this is? No, I don't know. Okay, if I said the second word was apple, would that give you a clue? Be an apple tree. It's not an apple tree. No. No. If I told you the first part of the word was pine. Apple pine. It's not apple pine. No. So I don't know. It's a pineapple. Pineapple. Have I you ever had pineapple? Yes, I see a lot of chunks. Yeah, so that's a pineapple. That's what it looks like before you cut it up. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Either. Wow. <laughs> Good afternoon, boys and girls and children, peeps. How you doing? It's Big Ian from the Hairy Joby podcast, and we are back live. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. After a, a lockdown sabbatical. Hiatus, I think. <laughs> Hiatus. <laughs> I know, a hernia. Is that, is that no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called a hiatus. A hiatus. As I said, I'm Big Ian, and with me today is... Uh, the owner and proprietor and all-round legend good guy, Mr. Colin Liddell. How you doing, mate? How you doing? It's you great doing? to be back sitting here in front of the microphone and doing what we do, getting the Rangers news back out, to, to, out there to the good people. We were unfortunate today um, up at the Harry Jobby, sitting watching 90 minutes of, I can't even describe it as football, but uh, I don't know. If you, if you play football on a carpet, mate, that's what you're going to get. Honestly, Aye. I know that we should have maybe, but it just showed what we're maybe lacking as a team right now because for the last couple of games, Jack and Kamara didn't work. Yeah. It certainly didn't work today. No, no, I don't think so. Too many sideways passes. Oh. As you can probably guess, we're sitting talking about the Livingston versus Rangers match today at Almondvale Stadium. Tony and Macaroni, mate. Tony Macaroni. Aye, okay, Almond Vale. I'm going to call it Almond Vale. I'm not calling it Tony Macaroni and all that nonsense. No, Dana. He's a prick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the guys, aren't you? Aye. Aye. I'm one of the one guys. One of the guys. Aye. Because I don't normally talk about other people's stadium. Almond Vale, because where is it? Is it Almond Vale? Right? It's next to the shops. It is. Next to the shops. So that's where it is. It's named after a shopping centre. Where? Oh. Where you used to get free parking, but no any longer. Every park in Livingston. No, no. You get caught short. See us for South Lancashire. Oh, going and saying, I think we'll do a wee trip to Livingston, and then obviously need to carry his money anywhere. No. And then you're fucking running about like a loon, <laughs> trying to find fucking three pound coins. <laughs> Just to park your motor. Aye. Not worth it. Nah. Imagine paying to park in Livingston. I know. Right. I, I, I paid a pound to go. If Fucking Falkirk yesterday. <laughs> Falkirk! Technically, no Falkirk. The wheel is no Falkirk. No. The wheel no, was separate. Just, uh, separate it was outside. Entity. It was in between, in between Falkirk and Bathgate, right? Uh, uh, it was this wee farm place, and I missed <laughs> the animals <laughs> because the woman wouldn't let me in. Because <laughs> she was stock taking. <laughs> I was five minutes after the last fucking call. She wouldn't let me in. She was stopping. <laughs> she thought she'd fuck up her numbers. <laughs> oh, old arsehole. Honestly. Aye. Aye. Do you think COVID's affected folk? Aye. Aye. It's, it's affected my daughter. My daughter's fucking petrified of everything. It's a shame, isn't it? She won't be a mask on constantly. Fucking hell. I'm just waiting for her to walk about with a sparkly glove. A one glove. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fucking that's funny. That, that's, <laughs> she fucking can't kind of walk straight. She's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> walking backwards with the new trainers on. I know. <laughs> that squeaky noise on the way. Poor <sighs> way. Leave her alone. Uh, so, you. today's match was not No, I wrote some notes. Huffed and puffed and... You get the team line up the day, big man. What no, no, <laughs> no, I didn't write that down. Right, who was in goal then? It was uh, John McLaughlin. It was McLaughlin. Left back was Barisic. Borna Barisic, star man of the day again. Uh, two centre backs who I think played really well. Really, really well. Lander, just the two of them got caught twice, and twice was wee shaky points. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tav, obviously, right back. We started with, we had, the change was Arfield instead of Rebo. 
But obviously that was Gerard because we know that fucking that bunch of hammer throwers on a carpet. Topping hammer up. throwers on a carpet doesn't it isn't it conducive to fucking free flowing fucking football? No. Do you think when you sign for Livingston Football Club, the carpet you're entire doing stairs for it's that stuff a, so you get used to walking about in it? Well, I think so, but you're fucking you, you think you're your Hoover would have foot constantly with the <laughs> black pellets. <laughs> the missus gone mental. You stole the ball and then they play so they didn't. Fucking sit down and play FIFA. <laughs> Can't you? I need to get used to this. <laughs> black pellets are everywhere. <laughs> Who was midfield today? Right, so we'll go obviously Jack and Kamara. Yeah. Was our two holding midfielders, which someone has to give, mate. Yeah. One or t'other. We're needing something more dynamic in there. Exactly, you know. Kamara can he play a, play a forward pass? No. He can know it was just constantly to the side, constantly to the side. We were at one point where we were maybe 86 minutes in, Kamara done the side pass to Goldson, who's a centre back. Yeah. Where, where do you think the more dynamic person is there? Yeah. The centre back or the midfielder? Jesus. You're hoping your midfielder would be the more dynamic Aye, and forward thinking. More intuitive. Yeah. But. Right, I'm, I don't want to be damning, but just it's been obvious for the last two or three games. Yeah. We've got away with it for the last two or three games. Mm-hmm. I still think we played well. I still think we played a, a, a really organised negative football team off the park today without scoring. And if it wasn't for their keeper, pulling off a world of a save and nearly knocking himself out in the post to deny Borna Barisic, then... Aye. Because it was only going to be one goal. When when your manager comes in this week and says it's going to be a war, the players are going to know... Aye. You know, we know how you play ugly. That's just not right. That's, but this is what we're going to face. We're going to face this week in, week out. So in the midfield was Jack and Kamara. Up top, we had Arfield, Kent, Hadji and Morelos. Aye. Good to see we Arfield getting a start today. I don't think he'd done his sale any injustice. Thought he I, played I, well I when he was on. I think if we wanted Doug, Arfield's the only one that can give us Doug. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's your go-to. He's your go-to guy, and I thought he done his I thought he done his sell all right today. The sixty minutes of his own, he gave us Scott Arfield. You know, you, you play Scott Arfield, you get Scott Arfield. That's what I like about him. Hadji again, game two in a row. Wasn't he, wasn't he brilliant? The boy wasn't he brilliant? But I can see why Gerard keeps playing him because paid uh, that much money for him. Paid three million quid for the boy. Well, what I, what I thought for the, the game against uh, St Johnson is when he made a mistake, we suffered. Yeah. He put us in pressure straight away. Yeah. It, it was spray passes that they capitalised on. Yeah. And I thought that was the same today. We're, yeah. And it's, I'm not saying it's a slight in the boy, but we're just not getting a run of the green. Yeah. Aye, absolutely agree, mate. <laughs> He'll come good. He's a good player. Oh, we, know he's, he's, we know he's I talented. We know he's, he's got the, the, the bits about him and he's, he's got the wherewithal. And again, we'll just hang by him. We'll just hang in there. Um, a man who I thought played really well the day was Tavenier. Tav? We, we, we rely on him all the time we think some of his, his distribution his tackle his reading of the game his passing of the ball not very good um, today I thought he had a really good game and I said earlier on I was really critical against St Johnson because it's James Tavenier a couple of mistakes but I thought he had a really good game bar a couple of mistakes today I don't think the boy put a foot wrong actually you know what I thought he done well in the, the St Johnson game was when he lined up uh, Kent and Morelos yeah. for Barisic's goal yeah basically told him remember this is your set piece remember what today yeah. and when the two split and Barisic just put that peach in it was it was stunning oh, I was nearly the same the day again you know right. that's we'll talk about that free kick in a wee bit but that was just a touch of class today man. I think that, mate well, I think we might talk about that a lot because for the the whole 90 minutes there wasn't really much no. to talk about no there wasn't came our roof come on uh-huh. uh, for his second substitute appearance I thought he played alright. Again. You're playing on an artificial surface against a team that's sitting in and playing. It's just uh, playing with blinkers in it on that park. Yeah. It's not the best. Adam as well came on and well. As of yet, we've not heard the Stephen Gerrard interview after the game. We just decided to set it on goal straight after the final whistle. As you could probably tell behind the big in there, we've got um, the best goals Rangers versus Celtic stuck on um, on the projector back there. And it's I'm just sitting watching some class for okay. players, man. I beat you in the tunnel. That's Aye. basically what Hately used to do. I beat you in the tunnel. See Aye. when I stand next to you in the tunnel, you're shiting yourself. Yeah. Go in the team the now. I wouldn't think so. I don't think so. I don't no, think so. No, there's no, there's no, there's no fear, is there? No, I don't think so. Don't think there's so. no intimidation. Yeah. 
for you, big game, was there any highlights today? <laughs> yeah, again, you've, you've I, sat and made notes all the I way through. I made notes, and... but it was uh, how you draw a rabbit. So this was for cock and balls for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I get cock and balls. <laughs> that fucking carpet is an abomination. Yeah. That was one of my Is points. that two minutes in when Morelos went over, went over his ankle? Aye. Aye, nowhere near the ball. Just cockle over. It's no good at all, man. Two and a half minutes in, Nicky Walsh decision. That was more than we ever got last year, I think. Nicky Walsh gave us a lot of decisions today. But again, they were well deserved and well earned because we were getting clubbed left, right and centre. And it's not like Walsh because I, I, I don't like the wee guy. You know? I, I, I liked how uh, Lavier are uh, sponsored by Dragon Soup. That did make shows me laugh. the class. The class. The class. It shows where uh, the team, Big Dave, our, our big podcast pal, um, he likes to drink the Dragon Soup at the bus stop, but he, he maintains that <laughs> people think it's a monster. <laughs> so he thinks I'm energy drink. When he says, and folk just think he's a. Uh, Can I get a half to Netherburn? <laughs> 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 no, mate, you're 50. Ah, <laughs> fuck so oh, did I say half, I meant concession. <laughs> He's, cl- he's closer to a concession than I am. He has, he's he? closer to a concession than I am. He's, he's not going to like this pod at all. He's not going to like this one. Oh dear, sorry, David. Oh, mate. right, aye. <laughs> classy, classy stadium. Classy stadium. Sponsored Dragon Soup. Tony Macaroni, Almond Vale, Dragon Soup. Right. Yeah. Have a plate of lasagna, a wee pint of Microwa- Microwave lasagna. Microwave. No lasagna. No, it's not. Thanks. Any other highlights for the first half, mate? Nothing. Honestly. It was a dreadful game. Talking about when uh, Golson got caught short, but you're trying to preempt the bounce, but a bounce on a carpet, no. you can't. No. With four million pellets <laughs> on the park. How can you preempt? <laughs> four million pellets and most of them wearing yellow jerseys. How, how, how can you preempt where that ball's going to bounce? Yeah. It's just so Goldson got made to look a wee bit foolish, but within two seconds he cleared up. Their only other chance was eight six minutes where that guy shot wide. Aye. Aye, there was absolutely nothing about that side of the day. I was, was listening to Bill Young the other night there and he had Brian Rice, the Hamilton Mackey's manager on. And Brian was talking about he would rather, look, he'd done the first game of the season, go into the Planet Breeze block over in the east end of Glasgow. And he said, I would rather my team went out trying to play football and trying to score goals and entertain people and lose 5 0 than go out and sit and defend with 11 men on the edge of the box and get beat 1 0. Uh-huh. Now, for me, Brian Rice is, I've always liked Brian, like Brian Rice. Years and years, he was at Falkirk and, you know, always spoke really well, well when I heard him on the radio or on the Big TV. Honest pro. Big honest pro, and again, there's no on Yogi Hughes. Big honest pro. Big honest pro, Aye. and it's you, you don't get them now. And uh, to sit and watch Gary Holt doing that the day we side, and then high fiving each other at the end of the game and stuff, and it's yeah, at the end of the season. And again, what makes it worse? There's only one team goes down. Aye. You know, and so that's w- fucking stupidity we call Scottish football. Aye, that has to, we have to change this. We'll get to that in a minute, probably, but. I was I was really disappointed, and when he comes out in the press and tells you during the week exactly what he's going to do and how he's going to do it, Mate, oh, uh, we're in a culture of self-preservation. That's what it is, for Christ's sake. Yeah, it was obvious with the the votes uh, <laughs> through lockdown. Why? Absolutely. The laughing stock that we made ourselves. Yeah. So, like, nothing surprises me. No. <laughs> no. I've never I've been a Rangers supporter since I was what. Since Christ left her bone. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I've been through the treble sides, the yeah. the Baron sides, the Soonest Revolution, mm-hmm. the Walter sides, the Advocate sides, the McLeish sides, Le Gwen and then Alan McCoy, and then fucking hell what happened after that. Aye. Aye. Uh, you know, that, that I've saw it all. Aye. But even back I can in the never generation. imagine a Ranger side I know when we play Europe, playing Europe, we we caught part in the bus. Yeah, but it's no anti football. It's no anti football. No, in recent years, yeah. we've certainly no part the bus in Europe. No, we haven't. Even oh, Le- Leverkusen last week, Leverkusen were just a really, really good football team. You know, they had a couple of chances. They scored with one of them. It was a one 0 win, but again, we had a couple of chances as well. And if it's a difference in. It's the difference players? when a, a boy's, when Chelsea are willing to pay a million for a boy, <laughs> and what is your side worth? 
Aye, but nuts and bolts, that's what it comes down to, you know. Again, what we bought them for and what they're worth now is, is different, you know. Oh. Um, you, you touched on um, Borna Barisic earlier on, you know, there are a few clubs in for Borna, and I said it's rumoured to be 20 million quid, and you went, why? It's worth more than 20 million quid. Left backs these days are absolutely hens teeth, you can't get a hold of them. Good left backs, we've got the Croatian international left back team. Exactly. If you're selling Kieran Tierney to Arsenal for 20 million quid, or 25 million or 20, quid, or whatever, or whatever it was, whatever, whatever Celtic said they did, then you have to look and go, Croatia finals? Were they known as Croatia in the final? But they were, they were right up there at the end, and you're going, they're a good team. Aye. And a good place to holiday, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> if there's anybody in the holiday industry want to pay the hairy job but to go and do a podcast hey, if we, we can do a podcast in Croatia no problem at all split what no we'll go together <laughs> <laughs> and, and to have that boy there he's on a long term contract and uh, if you want him yeah you're going to have to pay for him whoever it is he's worth it spoke about his free kick the other night there against St Johnson he spoke about his free kick the day you can see the boy's worked on this he knows his game inside out what a save for that keeper the day the boy's, the boy's debut couldn't he play Robbie McCrory because he's he's his, we're his parent club so they to play play this this young boy he's never played for Livy before he had a good game he flapped at a couple of things and but that that free kick that save for the free kick's a worldie absolute worldie and it just I think we just need to be a wee bit more cuter mate aye Against these sides, a wee bit more um, ingenious. Yeah. You know, work. You know, surely we've got better defenders in their ranks than they have. Yeah. So how can we not try and work a system to, to break them down? They're organised. Or, organised. These coaches are now organised in such a way where they get the eleven men to play a system that stops other teams from scoring. Aye, but how can we not counteract that? We've got we do five days of training. How can we not do that? We're trying. When you can't play get one of your best players, your on-form players, Joe Arriba, because of the state of the park and the way this team play, would Joe Arriba made a difference today? Probably would have played even. Booted uh, off the park. Yeah, well, it, the, it, last it, he'd split open the last time we played. Aye, wasn't even a free kick. Didn't get a free kick for it. Boy left with 15 stitches in his head. Aye. You see why Stephen Gerrard does now. And again, probably the first four games of the season, our best player, by far. By far. Can he play him? So, yeah. I, 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 can he make for an interesting league set up now? Um, going, for, going forward. We were hoping to be 11 points clear. That's... that's angry bit about this mate where we had that wee bit of momentum and we could have just stretched stretched our legs a wee bit but no there's nothing in it again no that's no. it yeah apart from they've got a few tough games to play in a row they've yeah. got scottish cup games to play they've got european games to play they've got betfred games to play they've now got games to catch up on two weeks in football that they've missed so things are going to get pretty sticky but they've bought a guy a, a Said no to Barcelona, so. Oh, I mean, he's, a, he's obviously a world beater if you knock back Barcelona and he signed for Lenny. I mean, that's. I know. <laughs> Couldn't you have said no to Lenny? I will wait and see on that one, I think. That's the, the sort of the thing that's sticking my throat right now that we had the chance. Yeah. We had the chance to just put a wee bit of momentum together. Just, you know, as time went on the, today, I, you know, I felt it saying. I've saw this fucking film before. Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't pretty. And again, the last ten fifteen minutes, we were all of them, mm-hmm. all of them. Brandon Barker came on, and I thought played very well. They adjusted to the surface. They did not like him running at them. They didn't like it. And the wee one twos just wanted to come off. The wee intricate bits of play they were trying didn't come off. And oh. it did. It landed to right to the foot of a, you know, a, a Livy player who just booted it the direction right, he was we're facing. Not, we weren't playing the bone green like Ibrooks. No, and Ibrooks. To be to give it its fucking place is looking absolutely stunning. And to, isn't aye, it? Aye, a big a big shout out to the the, the ground staff at Ibrook San Murray Park because um, really in the pitch, which was really poor last it year, was it looks amazing. Horrendous last year. It yeah. was embarrassing last aye. year. When we played Le- Leverkusen last year, it was Jesus Christ. We're playing in a fucking mm-hmm. a farmyard. A farmyard. I agree with that. So it's been that long mm-hmm. since we've actually. Come on and done a pod. Aye, um, we forgot what the, what the setup is. What would what did we used to do? Oh, we used to. Did I used to tickle you with a stick? <laughs> you sure? I thought I used to tickle you with a stick. No. 
Did uh, I used to put you in the boz and see how many times it aye, took you to aye. to vomit? Aye, that's that was it. Right, we'll need to do that today then. Ping one nut after the other, <laughs> right, and see how long it takes you to fucking bulk. <laughs> right, right, come on, well. <laughs> <laughs> no plane, no. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we used to do in uh, the old Twitter was go through some of the tweets. Tweets? For Rangers fans. Harry Joby, would you like to pick up your phone and go through? Because you are no longer on Harry Joby right now. On H- Harry Joby, do you You're on a more? sabbatical. Oh, I meant to tell you. What? Here's another reason why I signed up to a college course. Oh, for fuck's you're, you're drawing me with bombs today. I, I know, I forgot. Right, I f- <laughs> forgot to tell you. It's, it's not actually been important this week because I fucking broke my glasses and nobody will read them. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm waiting to next week to get my eyes tested and you fucking glasses. I lost, I lost my real my expensive pair at the gym now. And right. you're looking at me, right. I, I do go at the gym. Right. <laughs> right. See, like my father, right, he's got his 99 pen shop ones. Yeah. And the ones at home bargains, <laughs> which are his good pair. <laughs> so, what are you talking? <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm talking about my, my expensive pair were worth 200 quid. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, no. My pair could have worth 200 <laughs> pairs for that. That was, that was so <laughs> Mr. McGoo. And, and I lost them at the gym and don't know where they are. And I had my spare pair, my wee backup pair. And I've been wearing them for about a year. And I was made to go and get them my eyes tested, but the lockdown kicked in. And then last week, last week I was doing a, a bit of DIY in the house. And I took my glasses <laughs> off and su- sat them somewhere safe. I know. DIY in the house. Uh-huh. <laughs> take glasses off. Sat them down somewhere safe. <laughs> Look for a <the> lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Phone, could, headphone. Could you You're find in the it? the world of wonder. Things happened. I tell you exactly where your glasses are. Where? See that bit <laughs> between your bed and the mattress? Aye. They're there. No, I've got a bit between. And again, I painted my bedroom during the lockdown. Oh, no, my bed never was. Between the, the covers, the bed and the mattress. That's where they are. No. That's where mine's for constantly <laughs> when I'm in a <laughs> world of wonder. <laughs> I've found three pairs there. I like the way you said constantly <laughs> when I'm in a world of wonder. <laughs> Jesus. I like they fucking egg it when I'm on, when I'm on a podcast. So, <laughs> no, they, they fell off the wee unit and I stood on them. Now, <laughs> look at it's me. Wee right? Unit. Right, I'm, I'm thinking I'm I'm think the wee guy out of Fantasy Island. <laughs> <laughs> the plane, the plane. <laughs> <laughs> right, a, f- okay. a fast stone on a pair of specs there's no coming back there's no oh, oh no, see if we can glue the leg oh, back that's, on that's a crunch isn't it they're gone that's so yeah it's see when you stone the pair of specs yeah. that's like me stone the dog shite when you pair the trainers oh I <laughs> you just know <laughs> you just know <laughs> and see when I stone the dog shite when you pair the trainers that's it they're done they're, they're dead to me <laughs> yeah, they're dead to me Honestly, <laughs> they're dirty whores, <laughs> and I need to throw them out. <laughs> Honestly, I've, I've lost a couple of good pair of earmarks <laughs> because One I wham. am not fucking cleaning them with a fucking a wall st- stick. A stick. <laughs> you just have to do that. Oh, you can only so much go for for long grass, oh, right? I- you, you know when you're stoning the dog shit, don't you? Oh, aye. You can tell. Oh, you know You can tell. Away. It's like there's no shoe and just soaks. You can just... Oh, jeez. Oh, aye. aye. There's no feeling like it. No. And you know, ev- again, everybody knows, every guy knows that feeling they stoning on. Women tend to avoid dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I've never known a woman. Why? Why do you <laughs> fucking just walk around it? <laughs> You've never experienced standing in a dog shite. Uh, Come on, we, we, we're just that indignant. We're just fucking marching constantly. That's what we do. We march, <laughs> eyes forward, Aye. just fucking. And then you get that feeling, that, and you know straight away. Oh, that's no right. Oh, that's no. That's no muck. No. But right, the odd occasion, right? <laughs> Where you walked in the house and you see the print <sighs> when you're lambing it, and you go, Oh no. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you take your shoe off and you still smell it because you, you're an optimist. 
You think it's muck? <laughs> was that Clay? I did walk through Clay. Was that Clay? Oh, through Clay. It was Clay. Oh, it was Clay. Oh, yeah. oh, that was Clay. That was Clay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not clear. It's not clear. And then you, you you look at the fucking CSI trail. <laughs> Where have you been? Honestly. <laughs> and you've got nobody to blame but yourself. I can't blame the Wayne. He's only a size three. <laughs> it's fucking... No, it's not the Wayne. It's not. It's Wayne's not get Air Max. Just, honestly. It's horrible. Honestly. I, 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 have, I can safely say it. I've chucked to fucking three pair of trainers because I've stood in dog shite. They're just dead to me after that. Mm-hmm. And I feel hardcore. Did I get a chance that it was human shite? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good chance. No, Did I no get a chance a dog can stone in human shite in <laughs> hardcore? Oh <laughs> Anybody listen to the pod for that call? <laughs> Come, on. Come on! <laughs> Come on, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, so no, I did stand on my glasses and I broke them, so I've had to go all week. Oh, you did, oh, did you break your glasses? <laughs> Air Max dug shite and broke glasses. See, this is, this is why we do a podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Um, so I've not been studying, right? So, Wait, so I sorry. I start at a college course. You start at a college course. Yeah. <laughs> I've yet to know what that is. On, online. <laughs> right. Right. Um, it's forensic psychology. For fuck's sake, you'd be good at dog shit. Ah, if I know who's dog it was. <laughs> 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 DNA yeah. kits all out of fucking place. <laughs> you, 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 you fucking see that, see that brush he used for shaving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see when you throw the trainers in the bin. I'm in there for that. Yeah. Right. Rex, Rex did it. <laughs> I'm right. Because right. I think that that dog's been to see a murder for it, to, <laughs> for it to shite and sell the way it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a normal dog. It's not just what they shake the paper. That's one done in either fear oh, or anger. No. Larko, right? It's either fear or anger. Dogs don't just go oh, and shake the paper. CSI Larko. I can see you. <laughs> Who's that ginger cunt that was on fucking CSI Miami? I can see you sitting stuck like that. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Dun, chicky, dun, dun, chicky, dun, dun. Fucking the who? <laughs> So it was a dug it. It's, it's it's all it's all the way around to um, because of the job I do. It's all the way around to studying body language. This is this is not the area that I want to go into. But reading people's you're body a, language. You're a driving instructor, <laughs> forensic scientist, forensic psychologist who Fucking studies body language. Jillian. So that's that, that's going to that be that is thing. good. That's going to be the thing we're doing. So hey, see, honestly, I'm I'm not being funny, but name day will make a program about you. No, I mean we're <laughs> fucking make a program about myself. A driving instructing <laughs> forensic scientist, <laughs> psychologist. Sorry. Hey, right. it's the day with the heed. It's the day with the mind. Right. Figure out why bad people are bad and why don't, you don't get white dog shit anymore. Well, that's all I do with it. Calcium. Aye. Took all the calcium out their food. Aye. You know. Imagine getting dogs healthy food now. Holy shit. But. Why is it when I go to the toilet, right? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm twenty rounds in with a bit of paper, <laughs> and the palette's not changed colour. <laughs> it looks like somebody's still got a brown part, a brown marker up my arse. But I've got Bob Ross images going through my head. <laughs> hey, let's go a little bit crazy. But why is it? <laughs> yeah. Wait, dog shite. It's just fucking. That's it. It's gone. It's gone. It's not a thing. Hey, I agree. Dogs don't have skid marks. That is, that's the name of your see, podcast. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Psychology would say, psychologists would then look and go, is your bum hole maybe just a wee bit slacker <laughs> than a poodle? <laughs> I would like to think it, isn't it? And if it, if it is, I, what have hey, you been doing with it? Oh, come on. <laughs> what have you been doing with it? Unlike John, who's got two. He has got two. Right, uh, what's he called so, the, the other one last week? A whistler? The whistler? The whistler. The whistler. The toilet's keys, bum hole, and an extra one. Because the whistler. Get on you, John. Yeah, I love that. That's <laughs> bang tidy. Bang tidy, mate. Forensic, forensic psychology, hopefully this will lead to a... 
hopefully lead to a, an open university course or something. Um, I always fancy doing a degree in something and uh, further my knowledge because it's this. And again, that's why I'm, I'm taking a break for Twitter because there's so much going on. You know, I'm, I'm absolutely right into these conspiracy theories and, and stuff you like are that and, and how the world works and who's working it and why. And uh, there's so much out there, mate, we're not being told. There's so much, so much that people are now finding out, and I put it in, and it sounds so crazy that it's it's laughable, but then it turns out to be true, and then people wake up and go, "Shit, we know you told us this, and there it's there in black and white." So, yeah, um, so this this the psychology part, the finding out how bad people do what they do, but that leads into body language. Body language is the, the art of what they call profiling you look at people and how their mannerisms are and how their facial expressions going you can tell whether somebody's lying or happy or sad or <laughs> no I've got Bell's palsy called no it's totally different I've got Bell's palsy honestly oh, fuck. I can look at it old fucker <laughs> <laughs> sitting in his piece one day he's work <laughs> he was driving with windy down. So that's like honestly drive it don't drive with windy down, you get Bell's palsy, you look my old da. Why does it look like a fucking just like a, an old sad labrador? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna put him doing? <laughs> if I could I would have <laughs> <laughs> My mom was the up for it. We just she went to the bingo. <laughs> she went to the bingo <laughs> I took the whole shotgun like all yellow. <laughs> she came back. <laughs> Hit me the hair. Could he do it? Hit me the Could he no. pull the trigger? No. <laughs> he was promising me season tickets. <laughs> Don't shoot me, Cole. Don't do it, son. <laughs> I think that's what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Could he hear him inside the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you my dad. <laughs> <laughs> see if he listens to this. You're fucking oh, dead, mate. Fucking <laughs> man, hair's gone already, so, man. Six months of lockdown. Um, I never seen you. I never seen you come up. No. Come up couple of times in the last few weeks come up with the boys last week and you had a, a good day in the shed and um, a was good, that a good day it was a good day it was funny i can't remember you can't no <laughs> see that's a good bit about no drinking anymore being sober you get to see and hear things just a completely different view from the other three muppets that are here <laughs> this is quite good <laughs> it's always handy to have that one so god knows what happened for the years i was on the, the swally in here it must have been fucking bad, man. It was bad. I got a hair in there three times trying to take it out the fucking grey bin. Honestly, Chasing I wake up my neighbours every fucking time. I'm the only <laughs> guy with a silencer on my grey bin. I can't wait the last time I put my grey bin out. Oh, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Oh, to that, <laughs> bin, to that bin man that was on Twitter the other day that I'm really sorry. <laughs> I apologise. I did. I fucking hate bad men. I really do, and it's. I, I make it my life's ambition to fuck them up as much as I can. Being a driving oh, instructor. They the fucking. They, they swallowed my black man. I didn't replace it. No! <laughs> he fucking kept I, it. My neighbour, who's got fucking video cameras across the road, took video footage. <laughs> them fucking sucking my black man right in. Black bin's matter, mate. Did they? Black bin's day matter. Aye. Honestly. Be luck. I had an R black bin because the old woman across <laughs> <laughs> the road died. <laughs> and we got a bin for somewhere, right? <laughs> oh, that's sad, man. Oh, it was. Right. One day our bin was it. <laughs> and one day. It wasn't it? It's, it it's was amazing how, how she thought about you and said, when I go, I'm going to leave my black bin to Big Call. Oh, yeah. I thought it was lovely. It was lovely. There was a big number three sticker on it before she... <laughs> <laughs> before... <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> before the psalm was sung. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, sorry. Why is that all one? Mrs. Davidson. No, bless your, <laughs> bless your wee heart. There you <laughs> Thank, thanks for leaving me your bin. <laughs> Don't you, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. 
So I six months without um, the hairy job of being well, active. I know. You know and uh, Zoom took off, and but no football means that the hairy job he was just going over funny stuff, putting up funny pictures and funny posts, and you can even do the Facebook route during I the, the six I, months. I was, but I, I was took a lot of stuff off your Facebook page and put it on Twitter. Oh, did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> That's what I was doing. You big schemey bastard, right? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> all right? Hey, we're friends. This is what we do. Day, right, we I, share. I, well, you're the guy that said that you're taking a wee sabbatical. I'm taking me sabbatical. I've got so much on there now that Twitter's keeping me up till like two or three in the morning, and then I'm only getting four hours sleep. And then I have to. I'm back at work, and I need to function. I've got all these other things I need to do, and it's not getting done. You know, I'm supposed to be back at training, and I'm not, and it's it's all starting to affect me. It's so I'm going to cut Twitter down for two or three weeks, get my my mind and my body back in the game, and then I'll be back because I absolutely love Twitter. I love I love talking to the. Is it fourteen thousand three hundred followers we have there now? And we've got a core of about 250 real staunch, just staunch brilliant people. Just fucking, just, you know, they love us and we love them and we'll fucking aye. Aye. rotate. You know, and it's <laughs> Anybody that fucking says something about them. <laughs> it doesn't matter um, what we post, whether it's topical or football or funny or a picture or a meme or something. You get the same hardcore people come out all the time and comment and uh, really make us laugh. And it's again three weeks with it. That is going to be it's going to be a yeah, hard one, like, I think. You know, I, I, w- I had to. I had to. I, I think I'm a, quite a funny guy. Oh, you're funny. But yesterday I <laughs> went in a wee a wee battle. <laughs> Not a battle, but a banter battle. A banter because, battle. Yeah, banter war. I had to put my horns up because the guy beat. Me. Fair and square, and honestly, it's just, it's wonderful. Yeah. See, when you you, you just get funny, you appreciate funny, oh, don't you? Yeah, when you're funny, you appreciate funny. You know, somebody else is just as quick and sharp, or sometimes quicker and sharper. Aye. Just awesome. You hold your hands up. Again, I, many a time I've sat and applauded at my phone, reading some of what I used to Well done, you know. Yes. It's well done. It's yes. just tip the old hat off tip to you, hat. because... Yeah. You are why we do this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's, it's the same old faces, you know who you are, and uh, this is why we're back doing the podcast. We're going to, um, over the next week or two, do a, a, a greatest hits of the, the, the shows that we oh, put out before. Aye. See, if you never listen to it, you can no listen to these ones either. Aye, you, you don't have to. Um, that, again, this is mainly just for us, just us having aye. a laugh and doing what we do. Um, the last ones, we decided not to video them. Today we're, we're on video, so you know who we are now, you know who we're doing it, and you, you get to see us for the first time. Who is the hairy job in, and what is it they do, and why do they do this? Why have they got 14,000 followers and got away with saying such fucking sometimes crazy go, things? Why have they got fucking 14,000 <laughs> followers? Get that kid, they're in a shed. Oh, they're talking about fucking scatters. <laughs> well, honestly, when this comes out, mate, we're we're going to see us go fucking like the Dow Jones end out. <laughs> Dow Jones is up. You don't. Is it? It's, up. <laughs> is it? it's breaking all records. In if this goes to Dow Jones, I'll be happy. Right. Again, th- this is just for us. This is for us and the people, oh, the people that watch the Harry Job because this is for you. So, did you get your phone and open the Harry Job and see what it, see who's saying what and who's doing what? Because I'm not looking at it. Um, I don't even know where my phone is. To be honest. We're still getting Ashley. You're a fucking mentalist. This is the last eight. So, <laughs> Good, tell the story. Right, Ashley is a girl who thinks by farting louder. The man is using passive aggressive violence to position himself to as dominance. This intimidates a woman to, so she succumbs, not realizes as much flatulence, and thus the woman, fearing for her safety, doesn't fart as loud, and that is a sign of submissiveness. Submissiveness? Yes, this in turn contributes to rape culture and women being oppressed. <laughs> Fart rape. Fart rape. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. I agree with you, Colin. You're a mentalist. You're a mentalist. You're absolutely Honestly. so far out of this loop. My wife has actually fucking got me under the covers and farted. <laughs> and I've done it the same. So we've raped each other. Your, wife's, numerous- your wife's not oppressed. <laughs> She's not oppressed. She's in here earlier. Because oh, she got, you got a result with your holidays. Right? Do you see happy Heather? Honestly. Yeah. But the amount of times I fart, my wife should be in counselling. Aye. Sign into Priory. Oh, Season ticket. <laughs> Season ticket. You're a farter. 
Especially when you go through your wee health kicks. Oh, and you do your mushrooms and... My mushrooms and my fucking beets. Aye, mushrooms and beets and hot sauce. Mushroom beets and hot sauce. Hot sauce. Aye. Aye, fucking hot sauce. It's a way to go, man. It's a way to go. Aye. <laughs> so Ashley's still getting a pounding Not in that way <laughs> I don't think Ashley's ever got a pounding <laughs> A pound in, maybe A pound in So, Gaelic signs in the subway in Glasgow they Should make them French, German or Spanish That someone would maybe use The subway Mm-hmm. No, I think we just need to start getting speed boats and canoes. Seems to be the way things are going. Did you see the, the thing at Dover the other day there with all the speed boats? Oh, I saw that. Could they my speed mar- boat? Was that not marvellous? Right, could they my speed boat? Could auction them off on eBay? We could, hey, the hairy job, we could really need a speed boat. I was away doing the coast yesterday watching the Red Arrows at Presswick. And I'll tell you something, could have been out over the sea, right, in a speed uh, boat, eating a picnic, watching the Red Arrows. That's what I think. Big Davies, best darts pillar we know, Bullseye. Mm hmm. What the day when a fucking conservatory set fucking sunk, didn't it? <laughs> sunk. <laughs> <laughs> First time we used that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, you cracked me up. Right, what else has been said? Well, it's like, dropping points is very disappointing, but some of the shit you read on the air is mind-blowing. Comparing Gerard to Warburton has to be the best one yet. What? Yep. What? Who can say that? Well, obviously they're doing it. Warburton obviously went, oh, well, we'll learn a lesson and we'll, uh, we'll train hard and we'll learn our mistakes and fulfill them for next week. Big Sanny's just piped up when Joe Aribo's no playing, we're really struggling. Well, but he couldn't put Joe. In that game today? No. Again, I've picked up my phone to look at the hairy jobby. Did you? Aye. I'm not going to comment. I'm just going to... We do what you do, the voyeur. Or <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of a voyeur. <laughs> <laughs> look at the bright side. We haven't lost a goal in the league yet. Again, if you're not conceding goals, you get a chance of winning things. Right. I don't want seven hours ago. So, did, uh, did Ronnie O'Sullivan win? Aye. Master. Ronnie O'Sullivan was a class player and he was right in what he said last week about the new up and coming players just being absolutely awful. Oh, and he, they, 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 the him and Trump and all that have to keep playing because the stand of the snooker's that bad, maybe they would watch it. Aye. I said that when McGill looked like they had the, had the map Iker Finn on his face. But somebody says <laughs> <laughs> he's fake. Ranger stock. Oh, come on. No, I don't think so. It's not true, is it? No. So. Folk Matty, right? Matty on Twitter. Matty McCloy, seventy-two. Folk thinking we can lose Morelos now because we've signed Roof and Itton. Look, guys, the, the guys are going to have to fuck settle in here, right. right? You've got to give them a bit of time, boys. Jesus, man, you can't just, you know, Morelos as good as he is had a couple of chances today, a couple of sitters to score and missed, you know. Gerard made multiple subs in the game. We were obviously struggling. Each one was like for like, a like for like change, and we did not once look and think like he needed to change the shape or formation of the team. I can understand that because, yeah. well, me and you think that Jack Kilmarra just doesn't work. Well, I'm just reading Four Lads of the Dream. That midfield needed work last season, and it's criminal we haven't done anything to improve it. So slow and powder puff, it's unreal. Until we learn to win games. Like this, it will be the same old story for us. And two years of Gerard has failed to sort it. Not good enough. So for four lads to come out and have a go, it's, oh, that is, it's serious. Stuff. That is, you know, that's monumental. You know, it's serious stuff. For me, Ryan Kent looked like the only player who's up for any kind of battle, which always seems to be mentioned going forward. Obviously, the, the defense has been solid. Yeah. In the first half. Half Morelos, Kent, and Kamara were the only players willing to go for a 50 50. Nah, it's no good. It's no good reading today, guys. Follow, follow meltdowns are having a fucking ball. I said, nah, it's nothing to the fucking Kerry Dale meltdown, man. Sometimes oh, I just. Kerry Dale's. It's beautifully stunning. Yeah, right. Jess fan, 1969 Jim. Am I being unreasonable in thinking that Gerard should show now, by now, how to line up and play against these teams? This was nowhere near good enough. <sighs> You'd think. Ian, that a guy who was one of the best midfielders in the world, honestly, a true icon to fucking so many up and coming footballers yeah. that he could get in midfield right. Yeah. Is it that we don't have the, the finance to do it? Yeah. Is it that he feels like 
Jack and Kamara is the best option we have. Is it that the European transfer markets haven't opened yet? I know the teams are away on holiday and doing their stuff. Some teams are finishing their Champions League off, but we're not going to be shopping in that market. But all the Premier League clubs but that we maybe get midfielders from. You said that some of the teams will want to get players for it are still playing. Yeah. So we were thinking Premiership. Yeah. Andy Newport has said Stephen Gerrard insists that frustration with the draw with Livy is not the same as last season's post January collapse. At times similar, but it feels different now. It feels that we've got more options. It feels that we're be- we have better quality, but some of that quality just hasn't arrived. If we, if we drop points in that carpet, other teams are going to drop points in that carpet. I agree. You know, one thing I mean, Liv- Livingston beat Celtic 3 1 last year on that very same park, very same thing. And that's that was hey you can say that was just took London Dyke. London Dykes is away at QPR. Yeah, he's away at QPR. You, you, fucking Warburton <sighs> can waste him. I'm telling you, man, for two million quid, I'd have bought him. I think the boy has everything. He can play wide. He can come in. He can shoot. He can rumble defenders up. He can tackle. He's got his finishing ability is just absolutely incredible. His goals for games ratio is absolutely superb. He can hit a dead ball. We'll, he can uh, play we'll, with other strikers. He can play on his own. For two million quid, there was fans on, on Twitter going, no, nah, no good enough. He's going to settle, obviously, until fucking Morelos issue is going. Yeah. Is going. And that is, we're going to play him until we can of play him. And that might be wrong. Yeah. If you not, you know what I mean? It might be wrong, but we've still got him. So, play him. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm looking through the Twitter there, mate, and it's no good reading. You know, I don't think it was ever going to be... No, it's, not, it's never going to be constructive if I do like this. No. Chris Boyd and Darren Fletcher, an absolute breath of fresh air from the likes of Craig and Sutton as pundits. Well, of course they are. Hey, um, Darren Fletcher, honestly, sounded pretty for articulate. Aye, Highland Paddy. Dugs in the street can hear Chris Boyd whining about Rangers. Lovely. Tell you what, see when you get your ten points docked off you, we'll hear you fucking whining Highland Boy. Whatever you fucking are, you muggy. Fucking Twitter's no set up for fuck with you, mate, to be honest. Seemingly like Chris Boyd called Yanis Hadji and this Hadji. And? Right? Nah, it's no good, mate. Ailey Barber. Why would she do that? What? Let that wee rodent do that. <laughs> Why would she? Why? Obviously, obviously she's fucking... Yeah, it's not get up the old tree there. Getting up the fucking high. I think I'd change tree, you know. I wouldn't want to climb that one. Climb that route? No. <laughs> you know, tell it McLaughlin climbing to happy. Oh, Maybe we are. She's seen fucking Chris McLaughlin's cum face. Just like yourself. How do I analyse that? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck would I... <laughs> right, and how I, I, how would you analyse that? How the fuck would you analyse looking at Chris McLaughlin's cum face? I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't. I, I don't even want don't. to know. I, I'm not... I, usually, I can fucking... Usually, I, I'm the guy that's gone to the forensics <laughs> fucking course yeah. and get in there. But I'm not doing it. <laughs> Just, even make me do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, who are we playing next week? We're playing Kilmarnock next Saturday, Saturday 3, 3 o'clock. Kick off, and the boys will be in the hairy jobby. And so I think we're all having a wee drink. I drink a drink, so I poo. I've not had a wee drink since September. So. <laughs> that um, is literally true. Yeah, He's not, cool. not a drink since September. I've not had a drink since the Glens. Uh, since the Glens got me. Oh, oh, wait, I've got two sitting at the end of the bar. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just an empty. But, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, uh, Bells, I, I need to do that so shit myself. I think uh, next week we'll come out and we'll get a few beers with the boys because it's going to start back my heavy training again. Oh, there, Ryan Jack just sticking it by the fucking sales at Keeper there. Nice one, Ryan Jack. I've been doing with that the day, son, to be honest. Um, that was the day that I said, no, son, I think Ryan Jack will score today. Shut the fuck up, Colin, <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Hey, big man of Is it true? It's true. Aye, you did, did come up, did come I up with some shit. I say that Ryan Jack would score like that. Aye. Aye, you did say it, mate. Did right. you all look at me like I was a prophet? No. <laughs> did you all look at me like I was a fucking lucky wanker? Correct. That's <laughs> exactly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you weren't there fucking bathing my feet. <laughs> No, <laughs> wasn't it like that? Saying, turn this in the wine. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's rainwater. 
Parce que 20 minutes. Quand il est de. Non. Hey, big man. Right, sorry. I think that is just the end of the podcast for the day. Anything else you want to stick in before we go? Sorry. Is there anything you want to stick on the show before you go? Anything well, no, no, words no, of wisdom? I, I'm absolutely fine. I've words of wisdom, input, anything, anything at all you've no, got. No, I just, I just think, uh, just keep your eye out, and out for us. Uh, we're, we're trying to build. Uh, we're not a brand. We're not a brand. Just, no, we're, we're just a fuck bunch of daft idiots. <laughs> Sit in the shed and talk fucking shit for an hour. Shit for us. This, this is what we do. This is what. So if you like what we do, just. Keep if it's funny, if you don't, just so we're going to be making we we'll be listening back some of our pods oh, the other week. There. Can I see like a, a couple of wee dicks yesterday? Didn't they think I knew anything about Fatma? The Kevin Thompson incident. Aye. Are they getting a shout? You're going to fucking. You just going to mention them? Okay. Yeah. Again, I was I was sitting outside a shop yesterday and I read it and I was going to get tore in and I thought no, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to leave it because this is what I was again. And it's not that it was dispelling and the use of words and you know I'm. Yeah, I'm just, that that gets you. <sighs> Gets you when I, I fucking I make him oh, an aye. arse at <laughs> Aye. You humph. You humph <laughs> when I do it. <laughs> but, uh, well, they said that, that Kevin Thompson is the most boring commentator in the world. Which I said, insight was tremendous and he will be a future Rangers manager. Yeah. And then I was called a clown and no <laughs> fuck, fuck all about football. <laughs> this is on Facebook, but I don't think they knew that I fucking... I held an account on, on, on Twitter Medium with 14,500 followers on it. Aye. Who are all Rangers fans and have an input on stuff like that? I've, I've yet to hear anybody apart for these two clown shoes that don't like Kevin Thompson. I know. Well, I just don't understand. I really don't get it. And I don't. I Kevin don't. Thompson. Kevin Thompson is one of the most knowledgeable football men you could listen to. And you know. he's got an appetite, Ian. He, yeah. you, you can tell yeah. that he is not going to stop until he's at the fucking at the top. height. He's driven. 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 Driven by success. He was a successful football player, a successful coach. And I believe you're going to be a successful manager. And if, it, if it's with the famous Glasgow Rangers, so be it. So I've invited the wee guy on the podcast <laughs> to debate football. <laughs> Did he get back to you on it? Oh, he's dying to hear his fucking his voice in the airwaves. Oh, we, we'll make that happen. Right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll debate this with him. He's not going to like it. It's, it sounds like a right wee debater. Well, they have lots of debates. He has lots of debates. Oh, hundreds and hundreds of them. Hundreds of debates. Would it be technically called a mass debater? <laughs> Really? Yeah, honestly. Honestly. When you're sitting arguing with somebody on a Saturday afternoon, no, Kevin I, I, Thompson, instead of away doing something sensible with your life. Wait, wait, fucking looking at the Falkirk wheel go around about. <laughs> aye, that's and, another story. And and arguing with a fucking knobhead on Twitter <laughs> while watching the Falkirk wheel doing its thing. And they never even done it. <laughs> Yeah, did they, mate? What the fuck is up with folk in their boats? See these boating people? Get on my nipple ends. Right on it, man. No happening. No good. Twitter, beware. If you're going to come on and take on the big man in the next three weeks, you better come tooled up, armed and ready to go, because he'll fucking destroy you. <laughs> Just be warned. Yeah, I don't think I've anything else to add today, big man. I, I'm, I'm delighted the way Rangers have started the season. We'll, we'll make an end-of-month podcast going through all the games. and uh, Delighted. 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 Aye. Ah, again, 3 0 wins or the other place away to Aberdeen 1 1 now. Again, if this is us, no firing, wait till we're firing. That's what I'm going to say. You know? And it's. You're, you're, you're just a big pessimistic bastard. And again, we all have that fear of, oh no, this is going to happen again. I don't think it will. I, th- I think Steve Gerrard's right today when he said it just feels different. The players are different. They, f- they feel different. They know what's going to happen when we click. We're not playing well. And we're still winning. We've not conceded a goal. Not conceded a goal. The only goal, the only goal we've conceded was in that first bounce match against Hamilton Mackies at uh, um, Ockenhowie. That's the only goal. We, we've played Lille. We've played Leon. Oh, sorry. The goal against Leverkusen. So we've conceded two goals in, what, eight matches or something? It's, last year, we were losing goals. Last minute goals. For draws and stuff like that. This team just doesn't look like it's going to concede a goal. This team doesn't look like we can fucking conjure up. At the minute, we're working, we're working towards it. We're, we're, I th- I've seen more than enough today for Livingston to say they were lucky. They were lucky to get away with an Elna lady. Oh, yeah, no, I, 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 
We decided to play in the 80th minute. But they were knackered in the 80th minute. Before that, they were well organised and drilled and ready. Yeah, they get tired. Um, that's all from Big Ian and Big Colin at the Hairy Jobby. I'm going to wait to fucking try and edit this and make it sound <laughs> and ready. Good luck with that one. Oh. We'll see you on the flip side. Good night from me. All the best. And remember, we are the fucking people. We are the people. No surrender. Good night.